Hi everyone, hi Miss Razzle. We're trying to find out what different sounds different things make, like this. Wow. Now, what would happen if you used this spoon on this metal bowl? Did you hear the difference? Wow, that bowl made a different sound. I wonder what will happen if we use a metal spoon. Wow, that made a different sound too. They all made different sounds, and we found out because we experimented. If you want to try this at home, ask a parent to find to the Science Kids Sound Garden at pbsparents.org. agreement of the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant, and by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. Fun for everyone makes a family strong. Chuck E. Cheese's proudly supports PBS Kids. Sometimes the greatest adventure can start with one click. ABCMouse.com, Early Learning Academy. Proud supporter of PBS Kids and Super Y. Who's got the power, the power to be? Who answers the call for friends in me? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to be? Who looks into books? glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Hey, the three pigs are building something cool. Come on. keep arguing medium pig i can't put up this wall if you're standing there you're in my way you're in my way biggest pig i need to put up this door you're both in my way i need to put up this roof uh, hey get out of the way no medium pig my wall goes first no biggest pig my door goes first my door does not move over you're both wrong my roof goes first <laughs> Super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the super readers. We need to call the rest of the super readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all super readers. Calling, calling all super, super readers. readers. To the book club. To the book club. Come on, to the book club.
great. We're all here. Together, we'll solve Pig's problem. Let's go! Okay, Pig, state your problem. My brothers and I are trying to build a fort, but we keep arguing. Oh no, Pig, oh, no. that's not good. What can we do so we can finish building our fort? Good question. When we have a question, we look in, in a book. book. What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please. Let's read the title of this book. Momotaro, the Peach Boy. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to Pig's question. First, we look for super letters. And then, put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Wow, in this story, we need 12 super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Arms in! Put your arm in. Super readers, to the rescue! Alpha Pig with alphabet power! Wonder Red with word power! was an ogre who scared the whole village. <laughs> Momotaro and his friends wanted to stop the ogre. We need to stop that ogre from scaring everyone. They could not stop the ogre because his friends were arguing. I'll lead the way to the ogre! No, I will! I will lead the way! <gasps> hey! They keep arguing! Just like my brothers and I keep arguing! And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book! Momotaro's friends keep arguing, just like Pig and his brothers! If they keep arguing, they'll never get to the ogre, just like we'll never finish our fort! We need to see what they do about all that arguing! Let's roll! <laughs> Hello, Momotaro. We're the Super Readers, and we want to talk to you. Hi, Super Readers. Momotaro, are you called Peach Boy? <laughs> yes, I was born in a peach. A peach fell from a tree, opened up, and out I came. So that's what Momotaro means, Peach Boy. <laughs> oh, these are my friends. I'm Monkey. I'm Doug. 
I'm pheasant! <laughs> Friends, we need to get to that ogre. See my map? The ogre is right there at Ogre Castle. Oh, oh, I want to hold the map! No, no, I, wa I want to hold the map! I want to hold the map! Now how will we get to the Ogre Castle? Alpha Pig! To the rescue! With my amazing alphabet map, I can help us find a way to the Ogre's Castle. First we have to find the letter H, then the F, and then the C to get to the Ogre's Castle. Hmm. Okay. Where is the letter H? There! There's the H on the hill. Let's go towards the hill. Next, we need the letter F. Hmm, where is the letter F? There it is! There's the F. F is for flowers. Let's follow those flowers. Come on! Now we need to find the letter C. Where is the letter C? There! There's the C for castle. Blinkity letters! We followed the alphabet map and found the ogre's castle. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. <laughs> Over the bridge and to the ogre. <laughs> That's the ogre. Let's roll. Don't forget to look for super letters. Do you see super letters? Which letters did you find? R's and two T's are first super letters. We need to put them in our super duper computer. Eight more super letters and then we'll get our super story answer. Don't lead the way! I will, I will! I will, I will, I will lead the way! I will lead the way! I will lead the way! Monkey, you are walking too fast. No, you were walking too fast. You were both walking too fast. If you two are trying to pass me, you got to Monkey, pheasant, dog. Friends, if you keep arguing, we'll never get to the ogre. The ogre must be on the other side of this gate. Oh, no, it's lost. Let me try! Oh, no, 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 let me! Let me try! Let go, let go! <laughs> now look what you've done! All that arguing made the knobs come off! How will we ever get past this gate? Cue the sparkles! Cue the music! Princess Crusto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can spell the word jump and we can jump over the gate. Will you spell jump with me? Splendid! <laughs> Wands up. Spell with me. <laughs> Ready? What letter makes the sound ch, ch, ch? J! J! Write a lowercase j with me. makes the sound ah you you let's write a lowercase u <laughs> what letter makes the sound mm? m m let's write a lowercase m together m <laughs> what letter makes 
makes the sound P. P. Let's write a lowercase p. J U M P. Jump! Presto! Now we can jump over the gate and get to the ogre. Jump! 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 Super letters? Which ones? The friends made the ogre roar. See? Oh no! There's nothing we can do to change our story! Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change the story and save the day! Let's change the word roar in the sentence. Let's zap it! Zap! Ah. Vibrator, right! The ogre is roaring because he's so angry. Which word will help the ogre so he's not angry? Cry, laugh, or yell? Let's try laugh. Which is the word laugh? It begins with L. There! There's the word laugh. Let's zap it. Ready, set, zap! <laughs> Let's read the new sentence. <laughs> the friends made the ogre laugh. Oh, we can use this feather to tickle him. If he laughs, he won't be angry anymore. And he won't roar. <laughs> Great idea, but it's a big feather. We'll have to lift it all together. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> laugh get the ogre to stop being angry? Yes! Yes! Super job, super readers. We made the ogre stop roaring and start laughing. And now he's not angry anymore. Ogre, why were you so angry? Every time I hear arguing, it makes me angry. So I roar. I don't like it when people argue. It makes me upset. Um. So when we stop arguing, you stop roaring? That's 
That's right. Now will you promise to stop roaring? It scares everybody. I promise. If you promise to stop arguing. Promise! Our last super butters? Which letters did you find? answer is work together but why I know because when Momotaro's friends worked together instead of arguing they were able to make the ogre laugh instead of roar and then we stopped scaring everyone so my question is what can my brothers and I do so we can finish building our fort? And the answer is... Work, work together. together! Yes! I know what to do now! Thanks, Super Readers! Come with me! Biggest Pig, move out of the way so I can put my door back up! No! Before you put up your door, I need to put up my wall! Pigs! We'll never finish our fort if we keep arguing. Why don't we work together? We'll get a lot more done that way. I guess we could try it. Okay. Okay, so first we should build the walls. Together. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, together, we should lift the door. And finally, together, let's build the roof. One, One two, two, three. <sighs> we did it! Together! We worked together, and we finished our fort. Start. 
starting this Monday on PBS Kids. Or watch Daniel Tiger anytime at pbskids.org. The Cat in the Hat has a special surprise. It's a week of all new adventures. I'm so excited. The Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that. All new week starting Monday, September 10th, only on PBS Kids. Or watch The Cat in the Hat anytime at pbskids.org. Superwise funded by a cooperative agreement of the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant. And by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. Fun for everyone makes a family strong. Chuck E. Cheese's proudly supports PBS Kids. At abcmouse.com, we believe that learning is the greatest adventure of all. abcmouse.com, Early Learning Academy. Proud supporter of PBS Kids and Super Y. The Super Readers love to figure things out. Can you help me figure out which animal doesn't belong? We have a dog, a donkey, a tiger, and a dolphin. Which one doesn't belong? The tiger! Right! The tiger starts with the letter T. All the other animal names start with the letter D. You can play more games like this with Super Y at pbskids.org. Coming up next, all aboard the dinosaur train! PBS Kids! I know there's people out there who's, um, backing me up 100%. Yes, I'm a different color, but I say, oh, well, here I am. I'm really special. You know, I stick out of the crowd, and that's what I really want to do. You know, when I go on stage, I am kind of shaky, but I, I don't let that show. And I can show the world what I really am. This is, like, the first time I ever had a teacher who's black, so I thought it was really neat to actually have somebody else in the class who's the same color as me. Well, I started around three years ago. That's when I first started working on my car. It really got me influenced into this was my dad because my dad's always had a nice car. I knew I wanted it blue because blue's always been my favorite color. It makes me you know, feel proud because I have something a lot of kids they never have. My dad's here for me and they do, my parents do a lot for me. Personally, it makes me feel that I can accomplish something and, and I can accomplish anything I want in life if I really want it. Can you get...